Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that a tank holds a thousand gallons of water, which strains from the bottom of a tank in half an hour. The values on the table show the volume V of water remaining in the tank in gallons after T minutes. So we have these points. And we're asked if P is the point 15,250 on the graph of V, find the slopes of the secant lines PQ when Q is the point of the graph with t equals 5, 10, 20, 25, and 30. So to find these lines, we have to take our points. So we have 15, 250. We start with t equals 5, which is at 5, 6, 94. And we find the slope of the second line by just the slope between these two points. So that slope is the change in y, which is 694 minus 250 over the change in x, 5 minus 15. When you calculate this out, you get negative 444 over 10, or negative 222 over 5. And we can also find the actual full equation of this line. We do that briefly. If we have y equals mx plus b, we know that it's negative 222 over 5 x plus b. Plugging in one of our points, we get 694 is equal to negative 222 over 5 times 5 plus b. 694 is therefore equal to negative 222 plus b because these 5s cancel. And therefore, b is equal to 916, and the equation is negative 222 over 5 times x plus 916. And we do the same, but instead of 5, 694, the point I've put in here, we do 10, 40, 444, 20, 111, 25, 28, and 30, 0. And I have done this ahead of time because it's just the same exact process. So for 10, 444, 20, 111, 25, 28, and 30, 0, which is t at 10, 20, 25, and 30, we have the following slopes and their equivalent lines. So if you just want to pause and take a look at this, we can move on to part b, which asks us to estimate the slope of the tangent line at p by averaging the slope of two secant lines. So if we take two of the slopes from this part right here, we can take negative 139 over 5 and add it to negative 111 over 5. If you add them together and take their, diff their um, divide by 2, then we get the average. So same denominator, so you add the numerators. This gives us negative 250 over 5 over 2 negative 250 divided by 5 is negative 50 over 2, which is negative 25. So the estimated slope based on the averages is going to be negative 25. And finally, in part C, we are asked to use a graph of the function to estimate the slope of the tangent line at P. So if we pull up this graph right here, just put it into Desmos. We can see the various points on the equation. And if we want to find the slope at a given point, we can guess perhaps in the range that it's near the rate of change. So from, for, we're looking at the green point here. If we take the change in y over the change in x between the two points next to it, we can get an average slope. So y between these two points goes from 450, roughly, to 100, roughly. So that is approximately a change of negative 350. This takes place over a change in x of 10. So going back to here, for us to do C, we can say that the slope is roughly a loss of 350 
over a change in x of 10, which is negative 35. And we can see because there's so few points and there's such variability in the data, negative 35 is relatively far away from negative 25, so this isn't the most accurate way to find the slope at this particular point.